The fuck going on?
stepping, how I'm stepping. The fuck going on? You did. Stepping, stepping like I'm stepping, they gon' start to ask some questions. They looking for the kid, is it aggression or obsession? Used to have a little, now I got a lot more. Act like they ain't hear me knock, so I broke down the door. Talk to middle man, I'm shooting straight for the source. Remember I was broke, now my mail full course. Broke nigga never drove a land more Porsche. Ten years plus and I'm still cracking fours. All the shit that I survive, I got God's favor. Got my dribble right, I feel like a ball player. Worth for what I got, I can't let nobody take it. Remember 2017, the crib was getting raided. I was always busting my gun, no hesitation. All the real shit I did, I need a nomination. All the loss I took, I just need a comic stated. You can look me in my eyes, real risk taker. Thought that I was done, my story had some more pages. We all of my dogs still going to sleep in cages. Living in the fast lane, keep my heart racing. Feeling like I'm Neo when I wake up in the matrix. All that shit that I survive, I got God's favors. Got my dribble right, I feel like a ball player. Worth for what I got, I can't let nobody take it. You can look me in my eyes, real risk taker. Always bust my gun, I ain't had no hesitation. All the real shit I did, I need a nomination. All the loss I took, I just need a comment Remember 2017, the crib was getting raided. All right, y'all. So thanks, everybody, for tapping in today. Now, uh, if you tapped in today, make sure you smash that like button. Now, um, I hope everybody was today, like Thursday, Friday, something like that. Let me, let me, let me check today. I'll be, I be losing track of the days and shit because I just be living, you know. But um, today is Thursday. You dig what I'm saying? Now, you guys might have seen on my previous live the disturbing news. Um, that had came out and today we're going to go over it so when it goes um to talk about the streets and things of that nature you know jamie evans which i will i'm gonna show not only his rap lyrics i'm gonna also show you the documentation all right so one thing in the streets that they claim you can't argue with is black and white so once the black and white is red, then, you know, a person can do what they want to do from there. Um, but it's just so crazy, you know, because um, as you may be aware, you know, about two years ago, uh, there was a like, a, um, how can I say? They tried to put a hit out on me. Um, it failed. It was actually the worst, like like the most worst failed mission ever in the city of Erie. I want y'all to understand that there was a few people in on this. They were literally at home watching my live stream. They were at home watching my live stream, anticipating for me to go over there. <laughs> For my head to go over there on that live stream, they were anticipating this. A few people. 
You feel what I'm saying? And to see their plan just go down the drain was so hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people were so hurt after the fact. And they tried to disguise they hurt and excitement. They went posting statuses. Um, a few people posted statuses. You had Smooth posting statuses. You had the Baltimore rapper. I forget his name from Baltimore posting status. You had Reese Young in posting status. You had Jamie Evans making statuses. You had all these people like hip, hip, hooray. You know what I'm saying? And you guys probably can all see where all of them are at now and what they're doing. <laughs> you guys can all go check on every last one of those people. Things didn't go too well after they was he, 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 and then ha, ha, ha. And I didn't, I didn't even know I had problems with some of these people. I'm like, what in the hell? I guess they was going to wait till something happened to me before they hit the net. But see, God had a different plan for them. You dig what I'm saying? They thought that God was again. They thought they was going to laugh and ha, 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 something happened. And then I was like, poop. It was like, what the hell? Nothing, not a scratch, not a nothing. And then Jamie, I mean, excuse me, Jamie Pacey life went into shambles. He threw it all away for about 10, 15 racks. So sad. And who put him up to the dummy mission? Oh, you guessed it right. Mr. Evans. Now, Mr. Evans thought he was going to get away. He said, oh, young boy going to have to go down with that, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Now, he catches his own case. And now, him catching his case, he goes in a, a federal prison. He's in there with Chewy. He's in there posting flicks up with Molly. You feel what I'm saying? They all flicking it up up in there. And then I just got to thinking, like, these dudes is posting more statuses than the people out here. You feel what I'm saying? They are, they, they, they can't stand it in there. You feel what I'm saying? That's why they posted so much status and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? They trying to get as much, as much, you know, feeling and interaction with the outside world. They swore they was on gang time and they wanted to stand on business out here and they was going to try to run up their bag and play this gangster role. But it's starting to seem like eerie gangsters is not for federal prison. Because once they go there, they are no longer acting like the same gangbangers that they were on the streets. If you look at Jamie Evans and you'll see in the music videos that I'll play, he swore up and down he was a hardcore gangster. Now, he claims he reps 700. If you don't know 700, they are so-called, they, I don't know what you want to call them. You feel what I'm saying? They, they, they's a, they're a down away group. You feel what I'm saying? I guess he was the head honcho over there. So whatever he said goes. So now the death, the, 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 the information that we're about to read here is very detrimental because it goes against everything that they were gang banging about. You know, Jay Evans was tatted up head to toe playing this gangster role. And I'm going to play the video. So you guys, you don't got to believe my words. We're going to just watch it. Because this is a great example of why you should just stay out the streets. You should just stay out the streets because he was out here playing a role as if he was this, you know, this tough guy. And then soon as he gets locked up in a different type of prison, you know, there's different levels of prison. You have county, you got the state and you got federal. He went federal. And if you don't know about federal prison in there, you know, it's no guns in there. But you might have knew that. You feel what I'm saying? And you might know that in there, the there's there's one major, major rule in there. You feel what I'm saying? And in there, as you guys know, you might have family members and this and that that claim things go on in there. You feel what I'm saying? And. Of course, you know, they're not supposed to be going on in there, but I'm pretty sure every person, almost every person on the street knows that things go on in there that's not supposed to go on in there. So Jamie Evans is not the first person to be incarcerated in federal prison, but he was the first person that I've seen. I've never seen this before, but what we're going to read is very different. I've never read something like this before, but he wanted to get out of jail very bad. 
He played this tough role. And you would think people let in prison look just like him. But now he's there. He does not want to be there. You feel what I'm saying? He does not want to be there. And if you don't believe my words, well, he had a whole hearing about him not wanting to be there. All right. Now, the hearing is so silly because Mr. Evans has missed multiple court hearings. He's missed multiple court hearings. OK, so if you miss multiple court hearings <laughs> in your life. For your cases, what made you think that you was going to get out of jail? Somebody tell me. What would make you think you was really going to get out when you know you missed all these court hearings? Now, some of y'all might say, where is he saying all these court hearings is going to be in the document that we're going to read today. And it just makes no sense why he went so far to do what he did. It just doesn't add up to the gangster that he said he was and in these videos. He said he don't do no. He said he put people in body bags. You feel what I'm saying? Free as niggas that didn't tell. This is his rap lyrics. So you would think a man like that can just do his time. But he's in a different type of jungle. You feel what I'm saying? He doesn't feel like the big dog anymore. And all of that gangster stuff you heard in the streets. It's not going down. It's a whole different world up in there. You dig what I'm saying? And he knows that. He ain't just going to go post a status and say, y'all, it's not the same in here. I can't act like I'm the head of 700. It's different. They claiming like they bigger than me. Up <laughs> he, he could be him. He couldn't be the down the way king in there. That don't exist. You feel what I'm saying? The most respect you're going to get in there is off your morals and integrity. And how can you define one morals and integrity? Off maybe what they in there for. What are they doing? That's how they're going to define you. You know what I'm saying? What are you in here for? You feel what I'm saying? Is these things going correct? This is the politics in there. Now, out here, we live in a different world. You feel what I'm saying? Now, so many... Dumb little things put you at risk, fight risk, so easy. He should have known missing court hearings that Bond was getting denied before he started. He hear his hearing started. Listen, he's a gangster. This shows you how slow street niggas is. They be thinking they tough and smart, and then they go do some dumb stuff, and then act like it ain't what you just read. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? They act like it ain't what you what you seeing. It just makes no sense when you see his face, all the tattoos, all the gangster rap and talk about he put people in body bags and and he going to do this and that. And he 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 this and that is. Listen, y'all, it's crazy, man. It's is I just can't believe that the city was back in this man. Like really back in this man, not the city down the way. And now down the way is really quiet. You know, they're really quiet. But if you look in the videos, as you'll see, they was there. You feel what I'm saying? But just like they scream, just like Jamie Evans scream in his music videos. Free his niggas that don't tell. He put niggas in body bags. He's serving all the dope. He was just telling everything in the music. <laughs> and they thought this was gangster. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on. We dinging. Hold on. They thought this was gangster. Hold on. Okay, so uh, listen, it's going to we're going to make this a part one and two. All right. Part one and two. All right. I got things coming in and it's detrimental. <laughs> <laughs> Because think about it. Imagine, y'all, put yourself in my shoes, all right? Everybody that's at home right now, if you tapped in, put yourself in my shoes. Imagine you chilling at home, doing what you do on live, and some niggas just come try to blam at you, right? And you just can't seem to figure out why everybody knows so fast. Like, literally, as soon as you're done, everybody knows you already know who did it. Like, that's impossible. 
just within three hours. You already know everything that, that's impossible. You feel what I'm saying? But this is what these guys is doing. And to see the karma, put yourself in my shoes. Everybody telling you, man, you need to go kick through them niggas door, man. You need to go this and that, man. You got to go this and that, man. People saying this and that. I said, it don't matter what the people say. Just watch how everything plays out. He cursed himself for life. Just watch. The most high God never fails. He will never fail you. When you think he failed you, he's just preparing you. But he will never fail you when you truly believe in him. See, they don't believe in God like I do. So they don't know the power of the most high God. They think what I just say is just crazy. They just think that I just be talking. But I just knew. I said, did this man just try to do this on camera? Oh, my God. He's dying. Now, a normal motherfucker, they're not going to think like that. They're going to think like, oh, my God. Somebody just tried to kill me. Oh, my God. Now, in my life, I've been through so much things. It's not, it's kind of sad, honestly, that these situations, I don't look at them as the next person will look at them. You feel what I'm saying? Which is a deep, deep level of understanding. Because when you start thinking, you start moving correct. Because I could have went kicking in doors. Literally, do, do you know how it is just to pull up so, to somebody's crib and just get to shoot and just to kick them in the front door? You can just be a maniac and do that. Doesn't mean you're a gangster. You can really be a maniac and just do that. You could just crash out like Jamie Paisley and them did. Just crash out. Just crash out. <laughs> just crash out. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, these people don't think. And they think that they're smarter than the person that thinks. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it just makes no sense. But to see all that happen again, you in my shoes, you me. To see the person who came get booked within like a week, no cap. After doing it, the dude got caught with the gun the same week. Nigga got caught. Nigga uh, end up going to jail, start getting on paperwork, uh, trying to tell stories about other stuff that he didn't did with other people. And I don't know if he thought he was going to get out or what, but it's just crazy to see that play out. And that same man that did it, not only did he get caught in a week, that's like record breaking with the strap. Oh, my gosh. He also gets 30 to 60 years. Oh, my gosh. The most high God did not play. OK, he did not play. You feel what I'm saying? You ever had a motherfucking just you ever had you ever just walking and you see like a, a bug just on you and you just like mother. He slapped up. Listen. You know what happened when you walking outside and just a random fly on you? What happens? You just you just smoke. You got to get him off you. He got him off of me without me doing anything or breaking a sweat. Just playing it smart because you know how hard it is to have somebody try to come assassinate you and you not go instantly just do something back. You know how hard that is. It's like that's extremely hard. It's hard to not be a retard. Do you know that? It's hard to not be dumb, okay? <laughs> like, most people today are not so intelligent. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's easy to be dumb today. So it's hard to not be. But to see it now play out how it's playing out is just ridiculous. So now, boom, he get 30 to 60 years. He up out of here. You know what I'm saying? He's done, and he still got two more cases or something like that. He's, he's butter. He's butter toast. He's buttered toast. They left him in the oven too long. You feel what I'm saying? Now, he's done. Shooter gone. Now, he was with somebody else. I don't know where he at right now. You feel what I'm saying? I just know things is not going too well for him, but I don't know where he at. You know what I'm saying? But with the man now, Jamie Evans, the one, the mastermind, you know what I'm saying? He then catches a case. They talking about is, is guns and drugs involved in that. And then it's federally, right? And then he goes there playing this tough role. Allegedly, he goes in there and uh, he allegedly got some beef or something going on with Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? I guess they talk about him and Molly and them got into some scuffle or whatever happened. I don't know. This is word on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, goddamn, he tries to get up out of there. I don't know if that happened before about it before or after but he trying to get up out of there you know what i'm saying he not he not built for what he thought he was built for what man goes to court right we still ain't got to the paper i'm gonna share it for y'all no worries but once you see what he did it's just crazy like 
after knowing what he knew already, he would have already had known this or whoever, somebody involved looking at his history or whatever, and guess they just didn't do their research, that he has missed all these court hearings. Just think about it. If y'all judge and the nigga come up to you, no matter who he is, he come up to you and he say, your honor, I would like to testify to certain uh, things that are going on inside the jail. And they get the yada, 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 yada. They get the same whatever. And you read the paper and they say this, this mug has missed five court hearings already. You going to look at him and say, come on, man. You cannot be serious that you're in here right now asking for bond and you can't even come to a court hearing. It, did you really just come in here today? Are you serious right now? No way he was serious with this. Like paid attorney serious. There's like no way. Like what? It doesn't even make sense. But hey, I guess it's always a piece that we don't know, right? Like it must have been a real good reason why this gangster Gangsta, 700 gangsta. And don't, don't get on here saying he calling him a 700 gangsta. You're going to hear him in his own song say this. All right. Now, let's keep it going. So we know who he represents so far. Hold on, let me pop up one of these videos real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Because I told y'all these genetically modified gangsters out here. Genetically modified. They get his songs. Uh, rapping all tough, doing all this extra stuff, um, just for you to end up seeing what we gonna see today. But hold on, let me uh make this wide screen. All right, so this is just to introduce y'all who we talking about. Um, so called seven hundred general. This the seven hundred general right here, y'all. Yeah, it is him. This the one that we're going to read about today. Yes, sir. Said he taught them down there everything you know. <laughs> I wonder if they know this part. <laughs> but, okay, so we just watched a, just a few lyrics in this song. Like, just, I'm, I'm just going to play a quick clip. Just watch how tough he is, though. Like, you would think he going to feds and just be on some, but just listen to him. Hold on. Let's listen to this real quick. Hear what he got to say. The bag on him, Brody get a blast on him, boom, paper tag on him, acting like he crazy, now they throwing dirt and grass on him. Look, I ain't playing with niggas. All right, so I can't play too much. I just want y'all to see. I just want y'all to see a little bit. Uh, cause that ain't his beat. He didn't took somebody beat. <laughs> but I just want y'all to see little clips in here. This this the gangster down there. You know what I'm saying? If you go, if you go listen to this song, you hear all the all the business he didn't said he didn't did he didn't told it all in the song all right so with that being said i'm gonna switch this don't worry y'all we getting right to that we get we get to that paper i just gotta introduce y'all on the way hold on All right, so I'm going to play this real quick. I'm only going to play a little bit of it. As y'all can see, he tatted up. He tatted up. You know what I'm saying? He got that image of a, what? A gangster. You would think he was in some type of cartel or something, how he tatted up. Let's keep going. We got to pull up in them drops. Just run that up and keep running, my nigga. Don't never stop. Damn right. Niggas crying. Man, I, I can't play nothing. I can't play none of this. Man, I should have double checked this, man. This motherfucker rapped off everybody in the world beats. <laughs> no cab, I can't even play. Nah. Hold on. Yeah, man. The next one, he's still rapping off somebody beat. What in the hell? All that dope money, they're supposed to buy some beats. <laughs> but uh, okay, y'all. So let's hop into it. Let's hop into it. Hold on.
All right, y'all. Y'all should be able to see that. Let me know if y'all able to see this. Let me know if y'all able to see this out there. Because you might not be able to. Let me know if you can see this. Yeah. Now, in this document, we just gonna read. We ain't gotta talk. Nobody gotta make no assumptions. Just we just gonna read it. All right. Now, one moment. Let me actually give me one second. All right, y'all. Sorry for the wait. So with that being said, I'm going to read this. All right. So basically, this was a hearing where um, he wanted to get out of jail. So it says um, defendant Jamie Javon Evans brings a motion of revocation or amendment of detention order. ECF seeking his release from detention prior to trial. A hearing was held on the motion on October 10th, 2023 in the testimony was heard by one defendant's mother two, a possible employer should mr evans be released and three defendant himself in the limited subject matter of prison conditions at the northeast ohio correction no center n e o c c all right so the united states opposes the motion mr evans presented his mother as a possible custodian with plans to reside at her home if released Everybody always pulls the same trick. Every nigga that tries to get out, be like, I'm going to live with my mama. <laughs> hey, who's every nigga trying to get up? Like, I'm going to my mama's house, nigga. <laughs> so uh, it says his mother testified that she is an employed uh, LPN who cares for a teenager, autistic, and diabetic, nonverbal boy in a 12 hour daytime shift, blah, blah, blah. She testified that other members of her immediate family also reside in the house. Ms. Pat assured the court that she would keep her son under close watch so that he does not violate no terms or whatever. And that he would bring him to... So she basically said what anybody mama or sister gonna say. All right? So nothing too special there. Just a mama doing what a mama supposed to do. Now, it says she expressed her concern for her son's safety at the NEOCC, a concern that she did not have when he was housed in the Erie County Prison. Now, it says she testified that she is concerned that the things her son has seen at NEOCC will trigger his diagnosed post-traumatic stress disorder. This shit right here, nigga. <laughs> they said what, what was going on in there was going to trigger his post-traumatic stress disorder. So this what this, this so this what made him blick at me, y'all. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> so that's what they said he had, all right? So we just going to keep reading, all right? I, I, I would have tried my best to not exaggerate things and just keep it to where it is. So it says Miss Pratt admitted um, that her son would, would not be supervised while she worked and that when her son resided with her previously until 2019, she was unable to keep him from the behavior. So I'm not going to lie. I'm going to just finish out and then say it. So it says from the behavior that litters his criminal history. She also acknowledged that her son failed to appear as required during the time frame. And when found often resisted arrest. So they just said every time basically he began found, he'd be resisting arrest. All right. 
and also that um she was unable to keep him from what the the activity that he was already engaged in you feel what i'm saying but this right here is just man listen let's 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 keep going um where does it say here miss pat made her son not be supervised while she work and then when um she was unable to keep him from the behavior she also acknowledged her son failed to appear yes yeah, it was it was over from there see they got it right here when um it was a time frame where she wasn't gonna be there and he already lived there now one thing i see is with a lot of these dudes that be trying to fight these cases is they always y'all i be seeing the same play the same play every time when they try to go home they be trying to go home to a family member that's close to them <laughs> like they go home to their mama house but they on record it already says they was living at their mama house why would you go there when this person is nine times out of ten already aware they're gonna use that like like that's just like common sense like you think we're really about to let you go back to a person and we think that your mama doesn't know anything. We think your mama doesn't know anything about none of this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is the same thing Smooth tried to use with um Manila, but Manila was already his girlfriend prior to that. So they said the same, they said similar things to what they said here. They basically told Smooth, well, you want to go back home to Manila? Yeah, you said she doing all this good stuff, but Mug, she most likely already knew about what you was doing and if she didn't know well she not that means she definitely not watching you if she didn't know you know what i'm saying see if she did know or she didn't know and if she did know you can't come and if she did know you can't come y'all see how they weren't going home regardless they're trying to go home to the same people that they was uh exactly around before they when they was doing whatever you know what i'm saying it doesn't make sense now with that being said let's keep reading so it says mr evans also presented a friend james Durr who is a supervisor at Barry Global, which manufactures caps for jars and bottles. Mr. Durr promised that he would work. So Mr. Durr came through basically and said he would work. All right, that's his homie. He came through for him. Finally, the defendant took the stand for the agreed upon limited purpose of providing evidence. Um, Boosie, you got that, Blaze? You got that, Blaze, Boo-Boo? Hit me that, John. You gonna need to hit your weed. Smoke, hit the drink, smoke the drink. You gonna need to, you gonna need to tap that drink. This the this the this the part that I was confused about. I was confused about this part. You know what I'm saying? I was really confused. <laughs> All right, so this part, y'all. I think we are gonna need a little intermission. I'm gonna let y'all read it. This this little part, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. All right. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna sit this right here. I'm gonna be right back.
My bad, y'all. Y'all couldn't hear me. So, basically, he thought that his atmosphere was so bad that... Hold on one sec. Let me just verify something real quick. One sec. My bad for interruptions, y'all. Okay. So. Okay. My bad, y'all. That's the last one. So, it says that any OCC facility to which he was transferred from the Erie County Prison in July with dozens of other federal detainees. So, they basically just told you that he was transferred with a dozen of other federal detainees, other people just like him. And Mr. Evans testified. Okay. So, if you don't know what testify means, for those that don't know the legal definition or anything like that, when you testify against something, it's like, it means like that you're like you're, you're going to talk about it for those that don't know much you know like let me just make it real simple it means you're going to talk about something that you believe to be true okay it's my most simplest way of saying it so what you're about to talk about right you, you believe it to be true so you're going to basically sit there and talk about something and you feel what i'm saying it could be on a lot of different subject matters that you could be testifying on but you get the point um with that being said, it says that Mr. Evans testified that drugs and weapons were rampant at the facility. Stabbings and riots were commonplace. Only one guard was responsible for four units of prisoners and medical personnel were unresponsive or unreliable when needed. The testimony is disturbing to the court. The court has informed the U.S. Marshal Service and the Chief District Justice of these claims about the facility and an investigation into the conditions. Booski, can you make me a motherfucking drink? Can you make me a motherfucker drink? Thanks, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta put my, my motherfucking pinky in the air. Put your pinkies in the air. Oh my god. Whoa. See, where I grew up, I kind of grew up down the way. I grew up around 700. And I grew up, when I grew up around 700, 700 was the gang down there. They ain't played none of that. They was like, me and Brody doing this, won't tell, won't, this, won't. That's, that's the type of town it was on, you know what I'm saying? And it was dangerous down there, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was real gritty down there on 700, you know? So, like, when I seen this, I was just so confused. Like, hold on. Is he basically... I don't know what this has to do with him getting out. Like, I don't know. Like, because I just feel like every MA in there is going through that same thing, you know? So, I just didn't get the point. I'm like, when I read it, I'm like, basically, what he's saying is something that every... If he's dealing with that, what he's saying is very general. Like, everybody's in there dealing with that, you know? And... And if, like, everybody was dealing with something that was really harsh and they didn't like it, right, they probably have a lot of complaints, you know? So I would believe that he's not the first person and he's not the last person. Now, there's more of this document, you feel what I'm saying? And there's going to be a part one and part two to this video. But I just wanted to show this first part because, you know, everybody was, like, be trying to argue, and I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. You guys can believe what you want. I'm not saying you to call anybody anything. I believe Jamie Evans is a normal citizen man. You know, he's just a normal citizen. I think he got caught up in some things that, you know, that he wasn't ready for, you know. But I, I believe that the things he tried to do to me was because he didn't have the proper love in his life. You dig what I'm saying? A lot of people, they don't be having that love in their life, so they want to tear other people down. And then when they get a taste of their own medicine, I feel like now he getting a taste of all the all the all the hurt he tried to put out. You know what I'm saying? When he was trying to laugh at them bullets going through that window, he getting that same thing right now, and he can't take his own medicine. K 
kids, stay away from, stay away from the street life, stay away from the gangs. You know what I'm saying? At least if you do get caught up into something or whatever, you just your own man. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all be out here trying to take responsibility of a group of niggas. And then when y'all catch a case with something, y'all don't be willing to stand on that. You know, that's kind of like, that's kind of like a person portraying to be a certain way. Let's just say, you know, uh, 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 just a nigga who acting ruthless out here because he was he is what you would call the definition of ruthless ruthless is just people who don't they just don't care like when he came looking through the window and it could have been kids or anybody up in there he was just a lunatic you feel what i'm saying when he sent jamie paisley who got who, who didn't even go to college uh excuse me my bad um to come in and in, 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 in with the with the drum and all that he was a lunatic. He wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking. You know what I'm saying? Just like, and, and I agree with what I read today. I just don't think he was thinking. Because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with what Mr. Evans said. Don't get that wrong. There's nothing wrong with what he said. He didn't say anything wrong. But it go against the character he was playing. You dig what I'm saying? A lot of people out here playing a certain character. Like me, I play the TV show host. I'm the TV show host. I'm not nothing else. I'm the TV motherfucking show host. <laughs> but he was playing get big gangster. Big gangster. <laughs> he wanted to play that OG double OG role. But when it was time to really be a double OG and really complete the mission, it just didn't go, get, go along with the person he was portraying. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with what he did. I just think all he did was just try to get out of jail. He didn't do anything else. Right? But this is part one. And there will be a part two of this. But I just wanted to drop this on y'all so y'all can know, like, you just read this stuff for yourself. All I know is, if this was Kaylana, what would they say? You know? I don't like to get on here and just say 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 things. You know what I'm saying? If this was Kaylana, if that was my name. What would you say? What would they say? What would 700 say? What would 700 say? Y'all know what 700 to say? If that was me, you don't want to know it's disrespectful. <laughs> you know what 700 would say if that were mine? <laughs> Hey, Booski, do you know what 700 to say if that were mine? <laughs> it is just so crazy because if that were mine, it'll be plastered everywhere. You dig? So sometimes just be a good person and you got to let people crash out. You dig what I'm saying? You got to just let people just do them. You feel what I'm saying? And then once they try to come your way, just stay stay solid and everything gonna play out right. You did what I'm saying? Cause I remember I remember Casey Lair was on Facebook like, you ain't do nothing but them niggas, them niggas that came and shot up your crib. You didn't do nothing but them niggas. <laughs> That's what KC was saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what KC was saying. But tell KC, I think a lot been done. What you talking about? KC talking about ain't nothing happened. Shit. A whole lot happened. Matter of fact, so much happened. It's, it might be three parts to this. Oh, y'all think y'all saw something? You haven't seen nothing. It gets deeper. Remember, what you, what you just seen is way deeper. And don't try to find where the deep goes because you ain't going to get, you ain't going to, you ain't going to find it. You know what I'm saying? We might need three parts to this because that's how far we get. And like I said, throughout this whole process, I don't think he did anything. I don't think he did anything wrong. So the, I want to get some insights and some opinions. So in these next parts, you'll get real opinions from real people. You feel what I'm saying? That been there, done that. This is what the fuck going on TV. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm going to just... 
these stories going to get these stories going to get better and better. Because who else would have broke them if I wasn't of? Be honest. I mean, I just don't break everybody's stories. This is the first one of its kind because this guy tried to plan an assassination temple on me up before. So I just think that, you know, he's just feeling what God is putting out there. You know, he's feeling what God is putting out there. And he's fighting something he can't see. He can't understand why he was denied. I mean, he gave a whole testimony. Why would he be denied? He couldn't understand. He just couldn't understand it. I don't know how hell he couldn't understand it. But he couldn't. But we, we ain't going to sit up here and make no excuses for no grown ass man. We're not going to sit up here and make no excuses for no grown ass man. Because they ain't going to make none for me. They ain't going to make none for me. And they be asking me how I treat these situations and this and that. I treat them how exactly how they going to treat me. So when you ask why I speak on some or why he worried or why this and that, because as soon as it happens to Carolano, they're going to be worried about it. If it was Carolano, it would have been out. They would have been put it out. Ben, Ben, Ben. Any slight thing they could catch, they're going to put it out about Kim. It's just the thing. The difference is I'm not trying to play to be no gangster. I don't got tattoos on my face. I don't got no tattoos at all. I'm not. I'm I'm a, I'm a normal man just trying to live his life in his truth. They just wanted to come bother me because I'm living in my truth. You know what I'm saying? I ain't acting like my licks is making me who I am. I'm not acting like the money is making me who I am. I'm not acting like the, the people I'm with is making me who I am. I am who I am. With it or without it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the difference between me and them. But they got to hold on to their character, though. You feel what I'm saying? It's just... It seems like soon as the character got to an answer to something, they don't want to hold on to the character no more. We got to make this make sense. We got to make this make sense. And this is this is like it's just crazy. You dig what I'm saying? Because I could be out of here. I could have went to another realm. You understand that? I could have been up out of here. You would have never heard. You would have never even heard of this. You would have never even seen this day. Who else would have said it? He would have been out here still acting tough. But guess what? All I know is when he inside there, he's not acting the same way that he's a, he was acting out here. Because it don't go down like that in there. He going to tuck that tail and listen up. Because it's real serious up in there. And it's not the game that he thought it was out here. And all them tattoos, he better act like them. You know what I'm saying? Because when you usually see people... Whole body just full of tattoos in it. You be thinking like, God damn, were they in the car? Dad was there. In the... You be thinking they just so thugged out, right? But I guess all the time that don't be the case. People just be wanting to be normal citizens, you know. And it ain't wrong with them being normal citizens. Let's make the world a better place. But it's gonna be a part one, a part two, and a part three of this for sure. But is there any questions out there for part one right now? You know what I'm saying we are gonna be live again tomorrow. I got it's so much stuff that keep going on. It's a lot, a lot of shit going on with these women out here. A lot. Like they just fighting every day. It's like something different. I don't know what's going on out there, man. I think everybody just have, having sex like rabbits for real, for real. <laughs> I just think people is out there having sex like rabbits and they just going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? But any questions for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do y'all think of what you just saw? You know what I'm saying? And on the last part of this uh, series, though, you will get the answer of what it does mean. You know what I'm saying what you did see, you know, I briefed you and, and, and kind of just try to break it down in simple terms. But in the end of this. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's going it's going in is I don't think nobody can honestly think of what what the end part is unless you really know. But I just don't think no a lot of people don't know. But um, yeah. Any questions, y'all? Before I hop off, man, this was the live today. Just the part one of this. And some of y'all might be out there like he ain't juice it up or not. It's part one, part two, and part three. Just can I can I bring it in smooth? Can I bring it in with some tequila? <laughs> 
Let's take a shot out there if you saw it, man. Everybody out there saw it, man. Let's take a shot, man. If you got your bleeds, take a bleeds. If you don't drink, take a shot of natural spring water. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you smash the like button as well, man. But you got to stay real out here, y'all. I really didn't see all these dudes. Like, all these dudes I see in these articles and this and that. I used to see them, man. All of us grew up little kids. And everybody used to play Bay City. And it just seems like once people started to get close to high school, everybody starts splitting up and choosing what little group they was going to be in. And a lot of people now, y'all, I'm going to keep it 100. Stay away from the streets, man. I'm going to make a whole separate video for this right here, but I'm going to just end with this. Stay away from the streets because nine times out of ten, the people that you grow up with in the streets, they're going to end up, something going to happen, they're going to start getting on pills or they're going to get on some type of weird drug. And they mind to be gone. This is this is 100. And you're going to have people that get incarcerated and you're going to have people that lose their life. You're going to get all three of those. You can go ask any motherfucker who really been in the streets. They know people around them that have gotten on drugs bad, lost their life, and they're incarcerated for a long time. It's not really a lot of happiness, but they try to make these videos and act like they hitting all these licks and act like this is the fun life to live. It's not the fun life to live. Honestly, because it's not because it's not worth it's not worth it. Nobody really remembers street niggas but the streets. You should make a name for yourself where not only the streets remember you, but there's people out, a lot of people outside of the streets, the normal people that remember you for good things. Not just, bro was getting some money, bro will blow his gun. You don't want people to remember you for that. <laughs> you want people when they think of you, man, your energy was different. You know what I'm saying? You want to be remembered different. Don't be remembered simple like these guys because you'll end up acting like you are who you are and then you'll do something that'll ruin everything you work hard for because some of these guys work hard for these street reps what i'm saying they gotta hit a lot of licks i'm saying commit different robberies you know what i'm saying they gotta go against certain niggas they gotta have beef they gotta wash the police it's hard out there but then when they get the flip side of the coin they don't be ready for it they don't be ready to stand on that they not it's really a whole different world. And in this earth that you live on, it's like so many worlds just on this earth. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know. You don't even know exists. You know what I'm saying? So they can act a certain way to you, but to other people, they ain't acting like that. That same tough guy you knew, you don't, he didn't act like that. You know what I'm saying? He not acting like that. You feel what I'm saying? When you're around all grown men that really stand on business and morals, it ain't like that. You feel what I'm saying? You only can really pop your shit if you really understand on morals and principles. And the rest of everything else is extra. You know what I'm saying? But um, I do appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. This is part one. And uh, I'll see y'all in part two. Part two might be tomorrow or it might be uh, the next day. But just know part two is coming. All right? <laughs> it's different. It's different things that we're going to read and see, and then we're going to piece together this puzzle, and then you can see how far the rabbit hole go. Um, but uh, see y'all next time. I'm going to end with one of these uh, intros, I mean, outro songs. And all the news that happened today, don't worry about it. We're going to be live about it tomorrow.
heart, he went against me, then he lost. Tryna live this lifestyle, must ain't no way cost. Work hard for everything I got, I'm the boss. Riding through LA in a red Marshal Fox. How they riding with you, they ain't take the walk. I ain't fucking with you, cause your vibes is all. I'm judging off your actions, you ain't even gotta talk. Can't find them like the kid in the store, I ain't a star. She already know who I am. Never down.